Hello, hello. Um, Life with Mandy here. Just wanted to give you guys the six month update. So for my Orbera gastric balloon. So, okay, um, I had the Orbera placed um, June 15th, 2017. Today is December the 16th, 2017. So my six months are up. Okay, so it's time to take it out. Uh, my doctor's given to me to after, uh, it's Christmas time, so we're gonna wait till after Christmas and have that done. Um, am I nervous? Well, I would be lying if I didn't say yes, but um, that's just part of it. I've learned so much about food and about eating, appropriately eating um, during this time. I'm not going to say dieting. I'm not because it's just it's just blown my mind about what I thought I was doing right for 20 I'm 35 I've been overweight my entire life I'm gonna say that I've been trying to somewhat have some type of a diet since I was like 10 something um, but so yeah so all these years you know eating um, prepackaged food because it said it was low calorie low carb this that I mean Oh my gosh, I've wasted so much money and so much time and so many tears on um, non-successful dieting. So I, dieting, I'm eating real food. I'm eating just real regular food. I learned portion control. Um, I just learned a lot. I learned to listen to my body. But anyways, I'm so sorry. Okay, so June the 15th, I started out at 204, okay, 204 pounds. Um, today, December the 16th, I'm 157.4. I'm pretty excited about that. 46.6 pounds. Um, I might even drop just a couple of more before removal uh, within the next week or two. Let me, I don't know if I can make this work. I'm going to try to do, because you, you only see here. So I'm going to try to um, do a full body, if you can do it. See, okay, so if you'll see some of my, on the um, gastric balloon web pages, you're gonna see some before and afters. And if I was smart enough and high tech enough to do that for y'all, I would, but I really am not. So anyways, um, this is me. So this is 157 pounds. I don't remember weighing this. Like, I remember waking up in the sixth grade and, you know, one day I was 99 pounds and the next day I was like 150 pounds. That's what it felt like to me. So I don't remember when I hit that, but I haven't weighed this um, in my adult years. I'm going to say this. Um, I am, I have more energy. Um, it is easier to go clothes shopping. I used to hate going to the store. I used to hate it because you got to try everything on. You have no idea. Is this going to fit? It looks like it's going to fit, but oh, no, it won't, you know. Um, so I, I'm very, very feeling very blessed. Um, as you can see, like I wasn't the one that I can't tell you that I did all these aerobics. I walked. That's all I did. I walked. I think I've done sit-ups two times in six months, two times, no lie. Um, I do not have excess Skin, I guess you could say, I don't have, um, I have stretch marks, but it is what it is. But this is me, this is not, there's nothing, um, you can see there's no saggy, there's, there's, it just all conformed because I was eating appropriately and I was walking and it's just a regular, sorry, I can't even get my own shirt down. Okay, um, so let me just go over a few things. So you guys, um, I've already talked to you that I'm a, I'm a nurse, I've been a nurse for almost 15 years. Um, and so now as I'm going through this process and as I've learned, I am amazed. Okay, so first of all, seven months ago, never heard of the Orbera gastric balloon. Okay, seven months ago, six months, I got the balloon. Since then, I've gone and talked to so many of my doctor friends, just some people, you know, just a lot of practicing physicians. And they're like, how are you doing this? And well, you know, are you doing a keto? No, I'm not doing it. I try to tell them, I'm, no, I'm eating regular food. Regular food, you know, try to uh, get in a, ba a balanced diet. Um, how are you doing this? They have not heard of the Orbera balloon either, you guys. This, so this is, a, this is a huge thing. 
that's why I'm, we need to get this out there. Um, we need to, we need to share it because if our physicians don't know that, that this, this is available, can you imagine how many people out there, just like myself seven months ago, they didn't know that this was available. Um, so some of my recommendations that I've learned because I learned to, to change the way I eat. I, I literally have just changed my process, my thought process on food in general. Um, I wish in the United States that, that the Orbera balloon was something that was um, inserted before people with gastric bypass. Why? 50% of the patients that have a gastric bypass regain weight within two years of surgery. Why? Because the gastric bypass makes the smaller, or excuse me, the stomach smaller, okay? Less, less uh, I believe uh, two ta tablespoons, I believe is what the amount of food that you can get in. Over time, our stomach stretches out, just like with the balloon, okay? Over time, our stomach stretches out. You're able to eat the same amount that you once were prior to the surgery. If you did not learn new eating habits, then you're going to regain that weight. Um, so that's what I think, number one, it should be applied to people before the gastric bypass. Number two, I think insurance should cover it because I had to take out a personal loan to have this done. Um, with that being said, I did not do this for cosmetic purposes. I did it because at a 204 pounds, being almost considered morbid obese, uh, at 35 years old, my bones were aching. I was exhausted. I was becoming short of breath and light-winded, just trying to get up a flight of steps. Um, in the future, if I would go continued and develop coronary artery disease and diabetes, and we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars that my insurance would have had to been paying out. So. The smart, uh, uh, to me, the smart choice would be to go ahead and ha let uh, the patients have, have insurance cover um, the Orbera balloon so we can prevent that future cost. Uh, okay, so number one question that I get from people who are considering, they're interested, let's just say that, they're interested that I lost this weight. Maybe they need to lose weight too. Their number one question is, and they're serious, how do you know you're not going to regain the weight? Or what's going to happen when they take the balloon out? And that's where I love to give the answer. I'm like, I have learned so much about food. I am not going to go back to Walmart and get a meal that's been sitting, a box sitting on a shelf for six months that guarantees me 10 pounds weight loss in a week and a half. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna eat real food. I'm gonna eat portioned food. I, I just, it's just, it's just changed my whole thought process. So how do I know I'm not going to regain the weight? I just know it, it changed my behavior in regards to food. It changed my behavior in regards to eating. Um, I still love food. I love food. I'll always love food. I just changed the way I looked at it. So that was my answer. That's my number one question. And there's my answer, you guys. Um, and uh, just a few, uh, tips, I guess, for everybody that's still out there doing this, eat regular food, please try regular food. God put it on this earth. You know, there's a reason. So don't be scared of potatoes. Um, you know, just limit, just, just portion it out. Um, get some type of activity in. Even, like I said, walking. Just go for a walk. Uh, I am not, I wear, the, I wear a Fitbit. I am not high up there on the steps. You guys can, I'm friends with some of you guys on the, um, the webpage. You know that I'm not high up there on the steps. It's kind of embarrassing. I live a sedentary lifestyle. I, I, I am a, I'm, I'm a nurse, but I, I have an office job. Um, so now I do, uh, but so I don't really get that many steps in. So I'm going to average anywhere from four, which is bad to 10,000 steps a day. And, and that 10,000 is very rare that I get that, um, but get some type of activity. All right. Eat slower. Enjoy the food. If, if you're 
if you're overweight or if you're um, even you know obese, more than likely, just like me, you enjoy food. I like love the taste of food. So enjoy that. Just slow it down. Let, let your stomach send the, send the signals to your brain and let the receptors pick that up that we're full before we overdo it. And again, please stay away from boxed food. Please stay away from the synthetic food that some marketers are putting, you know, some, some developer. I think they want us to stay fat, okay? That's just, I think it's a, I mean, I think they want us to stay fat. Somewhere they're making, they're making tons of money, so they want you to buy these um, low-carb protein bars. What are you talking about? Is it a cardboard? It's made of, it's going to have carbs in it but they've injected it with synthetic proteins and artificial amino acids and it's just, so eat, just eat fresh, eat normal, eat, eat what God provided on the, you know, on this planet. Um, I appreciate everybody's support. I appreciate, um, I have so hundreds of questions from everybody and you guys have just been awesome and I'm here to try to help support you and, um, I'm blessed, so it's time to have the balloon removed and um, and then continue on this journey. If I don't lose another single pound after this, I'm okay with that. I feel, I feel healthy, I'm, I'm fine. If I stay 157 pounds and it's still considered in some textbook overweight, I don't care. I don't, I don't care about that. I'm, I'm happy. I feel healthy. And that was my goal. My, to my physician friends that are watching, you guys watched me this whole time and it's a real life story. It's, this is true. It, you know, I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, you seen my, you know me before. All right. You have seen my before pictures. So this is true. This is awesome. You guys, it's, I'm just ecstatic. I'm a happily blessed. So, um, Thank you guys for um, watching and like the video. I will see you guys back. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do the day of uh, removal. It just depends on how much anesthesia I had. I've watched my pre-video, the very first video I did. I guess it was actually the post orbera five hours. I was pretty stoned on that anesthesia. So I don't know if I'm gonna do another one, but you guys are gonna see me again. And um, I'm here to reach out any questions or anything like that. God bless you guys. Take care and Merry Christmas.